Welcome to Access Interact, Accessible Peer Interaction for People with Disabilities. We want to explain a little bit about the aims and objectives of Access Interact and how it can help you in your daily work. Our aims are very simple. We wish to foster the inclusion of young people with disabilities, to promote intercultural dialogue and strengthen knowledge, and increase acceptance of diversity in society while supporting youth workers in developing and sharing effective methods in reaching out to marginalised young people. In doing so, we hope to achieve impact, developing a greater understanding of the definition of disability, particularly through a social model, address assumptions and attitudes that may create barriers for inclusion towards people with disabilities, receive and offer access to open educational resources that can be used by anyone at any time, and offer you access to a hub of related and useful resources related to disability, interaction, and communication. For youth workers and professionals, we hope that the resources will give you some great benefits promoting a greater awareness of the effects of inclusive communication, providing guidance on a variety of disabilities to enable you to understand how this impacts on a person's day-to-day -day life, and help identify the potential barriers for disabled learners in education. There are a wide range of direct target groups. The direct users include schools, youth workers and leaders, student leaders and student bodies, and a diverse range of youth organisations involved in arts, sports and cultural activities. The beneficiaries can include youth organisation volunteers and members, student groups, people with a disability including students themselves, youth NGOs and disability organisations. There are no limits in our hope for who will use the resources in their daily work. Let's explain a little bit about the materials that are available to you. Initially, we produced a guide to inclusive communication awareness campaigns with goals to outline the importance of creating an inclusive awareness campaign related to your specific community. To provide support to youth workers to follow an action plan to justify and organise a campaign and to support teachers or tutors in schools or in adult education who are interested to build inclusive communication awareness campaigns. The Guide for Youth Workers on Inclusive Communication includes materials related to communication for awareness of disabilities and special needs, how to embrace society, social, environmental and ethical issues, how to organise campaigns, the actions, resources and activities you might engage in, how to gather feedback and measure impact, and how to use technology to support communication in your campaigns. Intellectual Output 2 is a handbook. We call it the ABC to Inclusive Communication with My Peers with Disabilities. In it, we seek to raise awareness of barriers and challenges that people with visible and hidden disabilities face. In doing so, we want to address a breadth of needs including low incidence needs, and to address negative perceptions and assumptions about disability. The preliminary structure of the handbook is divided up into four sections. First, general tips for communicating with a person with a disability. Then, communicating with, communicating with people with physical disabilities, with vi a visual environment, and for those people with a hearing impairment. Each are discussed and explored individually. The handbook has a wide range of content. You can see in this slide how we have general tips for communicating with people with a disability and each of the sections. Do notice that we do also include information about how to communicate with people with an intellectual disability. This will include technology and the use of symbols. This handbook is freely available to you for download and use. It's published under an open license, 
So you can divide it up into smaller sections, edit, amend as you see fit. Here's an example of an ABC. You can see we have provide some introductory information and some general tips, things to ask before you engage. You see clearly at the bottom, the materials are published under Creative Commons license. If we look at the area of communicating with people with physical disabilities, you can see the ABC format more clearly. A is about. What do we know about the disability? What types of diagnosis? And how does it affect people? The B is about barriers. What barriers in society do people with a physical disability encounter? And then finally, the C is for communication. How can we best communicate to support people with a physical disability in social activities? In addition, we've also created an inclusive communication peer support hub. This is available online. It seeks to improve youth inclusive communication tools and processes, especially dedicated to the youth community, providing tools and guidance on how to make information and training accessible. It's not the project's website. It's a resource database which can be added to and shared by users right across Europe. Within the Peer Support Hub, you'll find a wide range of resources. These will include accessible information, communication aids, culture, education, employment, health and social care, inclusive communication, how to participate, engage in society, including sport, leisure and recreation, and the role of the third or not-for-profit sector. The Hub is available online and you can find links from the website giving at the end. It's searchable and we welcome you to add further resources with us that you think would benefit others. Thank you very much for your attention. You'll find all of these resources at www.davebainsaccess.org and of course on the main project website, accessinteract.eu. Thanks for your attention.